It's not everything I hope we're going Today in general we are going to talk about the long division starting from grade 5 until grade 6 and 7 and so on. The long division with two digits. For example here, as we can know, is the symbol of the long division. And we have here, we have here, as you can see, we are going to uh, write here in this space and this space, we can write here something. And also I'm going to write here something and also here it will be something okay the one the number we are going to this is a symbol of the long division the number we are going to use it on the right side is called dividend it's called what dividend and the number on the left side called the divisor and the number here uh, in the up we call this number the quotient quotient meaning the number it will be after you divide so that here we have three words here it's very important to note dividend divisor and the quotient the quotient so the, the number it will be get it as the product after you finish the division and here's the number the dividend the dividend and here's the divisor the divisor here the number you are going to divide by this number and to be sure the division meaning you are going to have uh, equal parts like for example if you are going to here to divide it divide by two so that here the eight is the dividend and here the two the divisor our divisor and here the number it will be his equation so that we are going to turn eight divided by two you are going to ask yourself the eight has how the eight has how many twos or which number you are going to multiply by two to give you what to give you eight so that's the first number here ask yourself how many a how many twos how many twos in the eight so that you are can can see here four two right after that the number you're putting here up you are going to multiply again here by two so that four times the two it will be eight then after that you are going to go minus eight minus eight equals zero so that is the division or the longer division is already ending so that here is no any uh, any any remainder if there is any remainder for example here if i'm going to to tell you divide seven by five ask yourself how many five in the seven one right the seven have only one five then the number you put it here one then multiply by five one times five five then here minus after that you are going to subtract seven minus five but it will be two the two the ending here we call this one remainder of the division so that here seven divided by five we said one and the remainder here it will be here what it will be here two right okay so that here as you can know the long division it's like going to divide steps okay, the long division is the first the first step you are going to divide then multiply then subtract this is the steps for the division okay let's have an example for one if you are going to divide one digit and the two digit and the our lesson for the two digit let's start with the two digit here so that here we are going to be easy for us the first example here we need to divide here five two a divided by two. How can you divide this? As you can, as you can see here, the number on the right it's called a dividend and a divisor, and here it will be the quotient of the division. Okay, that's a good. Here one digit, so that you are going to take one digit from the left side. Start here from the left side, and to be sure, the number on the right when you are going to divide it. I'm going to divide 5 by 2. The number of the right should to be greater than the 2. It will be that number of the divisions. 
So that the number of uh, the number of uh, on, from the dividend should be greater than the divisor. So that here five divided by two. If you don't know how many tools in the five, we are going to do like this one. Here one. Then multiply one times two, and here two. One times two, what it will be? One times two. Here two. Then two times two four, and here three times two. Here six. And here four times two and here eight. You can stop like this. Okay. Five divided by two. Five divided by two. What it will be ask yourself. The five has has how many twos? Only one. So that here one, but here one. Then multiply. One times two, it will be two. So that here divide, then multiply, then subtract. Five minus two. Five minus two. What it will be here? It will be here three so that we have here mistake why because the five doesn't have only one two the five has two two one so that how many two two that here take care that we have only two twos then multiply two times the two it will be here four and the five minus four one here as you can see one here divide by two as you can as we said the number on the right should to be greater than on the left or equals okay so that here we are going to copy this number beside the five down you copy this number down so that you have here 12 but then after that 12 divided by 2 which number you are going to multiply by 2 to give it to 12 if you are going to look here and here 5 times the 2 it will be 10 and here 6 times 2 it will be 12 so that's which number the 6 6 times 2 will give you here 12 right so put here 6 okay then 6 times 2 12 then subtract you but divide divide multiply subtract it will be here 0 so that's what you will do after 0 and here as we say the number on the right should be greater than or equals the number all, uh, on the left so that we are going to get the 8 down so that you have here 8 8 divided by 2, what it will be here? Here, which number? Uh -huh. 2 times a, and here 3, and here 4. 2 times 2, it will be what? 4. Okay, if 4 times 2, what it will be here? It will be here 8. Okay, if you don't know, well, ask yourself, which number here has 8? Here 8, and here 4. So that 4 times 2, it will give you 8. And after that, multiply it, then subtract, it will be zero. So that the ending or the remainder will be here zero. So that the, the quotient of this one, we are going to divide 5 to 8, divide by 2. The final answer it will be 264. How can you check your answer? If you are going to multiply multiply the quotient by the divisor, should to give you the dividend. Let's try. If you are going to multiply this number here by this number, 264. Multiply 2, multiply 2 times 4, 8, 2 times, times 6, 12, 2 and here 1, 2 times 2, 4 and have 1, it will be 5, see, same this number, meaning your answer is correct. If your answer, if you are going to multiply the both number here, this number here and this number together, and it will not give you the same number, meaning you have wrong in your division, so that you, and you need to check it well, okay? That's a good. Let's have another example, but it will be two digits. Okay, two digits, not only one digit. So that it will be clear as our lesson for today. Let's have the example there. Okay. If you have here five times two, five, two, eight, with me 5 2 8 divide by 24 okay as you can see here on the left side how many digits? two digits right two numbers here so that you are going to two you are going to take two numbers from the left side the two numbers this one okay that's good then what you are going to do for this case as I told you make line like this then put here 1, multiply 1 times 24. What it will be here? It will be here 24. 2 times 24. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 2, 4. Here 3. 3 times 24. 3 times 4, 12. Here 2 and here 1. 
0 times 2 6 and you have 1 7 what here 4 4 times 24 4 times 4 16 here 6 and here 1 4 times 2 8 and you have 1 9 5 times 24 what it will be here <coughs> 524 it will be here 5 times 4 20 here 0 and here 2 5 times 2 10 and we have 2 at 12 okay and after that meaning you add yeah you know, for example here 6 okay and here 7 if you don't know how to multiply also meaning you each time you are going to add 24 so that if you are going to here add 24 what it will be here 24 over here 4 and here 6 and here what? add for this number 24 over here 8 okay and here 8 and here 1 add here also 24 so that here uh, 12 okay and here 1 and here 2 meaning same you are going to multiply 2 times 4 2 times 4 it will be what 23 2, 2 times 4 32 okay and so on okay that's a good. That's a try. Okay, you had you have here two digits by two digits. Fifty-two divided by twenty-four. Okay, ask yourself: the fifty-two has how many twenty-four? Or which number I'm going to multiply? I'm going to multiply by twenty-four. It will give me fifty-two, or the number nearest to fifty-two, not greater than fifty-two, because if the greater than that, it will be negative, and it will be the wrong way. So that okay. Here, which number is nearest to 52 here? Which number is nearest to 42? 24 is still far. The 48, yes, it's a clear, it's, a, it's, a, it's near to 52. So that here, this is 40, 48. What is the number here? 2, the small number here, you put it here. And here, meaning I'm going to multiply 2 times 4, here 8, and it will be the same number here, and the 2 here, 2 times 2, 4. What you will do after subtract as we said the longer division divide then multiply then subtract 2 minus 8 we can add we take from this one 1 so that will be 4 this one 12 right 12 minus 8 it will be here 4 and here 5 minus 4 this one become 4 right 4 minus 4 0 okay what you will do after here here if you are going to multiply here 4 times 24 5, to 5 times 24 what it will be here here 5 uh, 4 times 24 as we said we cannot divide this one because this number it's greater than this one what you are going to you are going to copy this number down so that here 84 well it's 48 48 divided by 24 check here what is the number here you are going to multiply by 24 give you 4 8 2 so that you put here 2 then multiply 2 times here 2 times 4 8 and 2 times 2 here is going to subtract it will give you what 0 if i'm going to check your answer you're going to multiply 1 8 times 1 4 it will give you 528 if you are going to multiply this one 24 to check your answer times 22 22 can I write it as 20 plus 2 that's your 24 times 20 both is 0 the multiply the numbers by numbers 2 times 4 8 2 times 2 here it will be what it will be here 4 then 24 times 2 it will be here 2 times 4 8 2 times 2 4 then you are going to adding together it will be 8 times 8 plus 0 8 4 plus 8 12 and here 1 will be same the number here right that's good let's have another question for that so that it will be clear for you okay to have more knowledge about the long division for example if you have another example here try to use your mind never mind of the uh, calculator it's not helping you a lot especially if you are in grade 5 or grade 6 something like this here 5 2 8 divide by 88 that's a good here if you are going to here two numbers and here two numbers right 
If we are going to divide 52, divide so we cannot divide because this number is less than this number. Your number on the right, on the left, less than on the right, or, or on the left number, number on the left, it's greater than the number on the right. You cannot divide. So that we are going to take the other numbers here. So that the number, whole number, it will become 528. Okay, as I told you, we can't write from from one. One times two, one times eighty-eight, it will be eighty-eight. Two times eighty-eight, meaning you are adding eighty-eight plus eighty-eight. Two times eight, sixteen, and here one. Two times eight, sixteen, and one, it will be seventeen. And here three. Okay, three times uh, here, it will be twenty-four, right? Twenty-four over here, uh, twenty-four. Uh, 388 times the 3 what it will be as I told you you are going to add here 88 once if you don't to know how to do again for example 176 plus 88 6 plus 8 it will be 14 and here 4 and here 1 7 it will be 8 16 here 6 this is that 264 264 you are going to multiply until you get number nearest for this one so then 4 you are going to add here also 88 4 plus 8, it will be here 12, and here 1, it will be 7, 5, 3, over here 3, 5, 2, add in here 88 also, 2 plus 8, it will be here what, uh, 2 plus 8, it will be here uh, 10, and here 0, and here 4, and here uh, 4 also, then after that, you are going to add in what, is that here, one two three four here five okay if i are going to check your answer five times eight will be here 40 here zero and here four four and forty four okay and so on and here six times eight you are going to add it 88 and here eight and here 12 and here one will be five two eight see five two eight oh which number here here five two eight what is the number here Opposite is number six. You put the six here, and this number on the left, you put it down here, five to eight. Then subtract five to eight minus two five eight. It will be what? It will be zero. So that here, if we are going to check your answer, six times two eight, so eight to eight will be five to eight. Okay, guys. I hope these two questions this will be clear. You can solve and to demand in yourself. Try to solve all of the questions so that you, because the longer division, we need to solve a lot and a lot, and after that will be easy for you. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.